Hey Pisces, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for what you need to know right now. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. <clears throat> All right, we have the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there is an upcoming event or re reconnection or reunion or reconciliation with somebody here and I feel like you could be stressing out, maybe losing sleep, um, just you know, over the anticipation of what could happen. Maybe it's someone that you've known for a long time but haven't seen in a long time. Maybe it's someone new. I just feel like it's going to go better than you think but I also want to validate that this kind of worry is normal. Uh, but maybe there's a specific reason for why you feel like that. We have the Hermit, which is Virgo, the Page of Cups, Four of Swords, and the Three of Cups. So I feel like the Three of Cups represents, you know, that confirmation that this could be due to a reunion, reconciliation, someone, you know, that you're seeing for some time after maybe being separated. I feel like the Page of Cups kind of speaks to the fact that there could still be some um, emotions or feelings involved. Uh, maybe there is some love here that you have for this person or... There's just this genuine curiosity about what they've been up to, how they are. It's like you really care, um, so that's going to show up. And I feel like with the Hermit, maybe you're trying to not express those emotions, so it's almost like you could be going against your nature, right? Maybe you want to say how you really feel, but you don't know how they're going to react, so instead you're keeping it to yourself, right? I feel like with that Four of Swords, you could also trying to, you could be trying to just kind of be on the, you know, low on the radar or maybe you're trying not to think about it you're trying to self-regulate self-soothe um it's like your your mind is very much focused on this and you're trying to fight it is what it seems like but let's go ahead and clarify the three of cups two of wands yeah i feel like you've been at a distance uh from this person it could be a long distance relationship we have the strength which is leo the eight of cups and the hanged man which is you so Interesting, maybe you're connecting to a Leo, maybe you have Leo placements, but I feel like this Eight of Cups confirms there is going to be this sudden shift, right? It's like we go from being far from each other, maybe not speaking as much, to all of a sudden we're going to see each other. It is going to take a little bit of bravery. It is going to maybe keep us paralyzed at first because we won't know what to do, how to react, or what to expect. But at the same time, it's also an exciting moment because maybe this is going to open up some opportunities for you to discuss some of the things that maybe you've been thinking about but, having, but haven't had the chance to really, you know, work together on. Right behind the Five of Cups is the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like there's a lot of things that need to be addressed. Um, and this could be, you know, a really good opportunity to do that. But there could also be some fears. Let's go ahead and clarify the Page of Cups. And now we have the Ten of Swords. Some of you could also be dealing with a person who you've been with. Maybe there was a separation. Maybe there was some sort of breakup. I feel like that's the hardest part is knowing that you still have these feelings for this person. And maybe it's the other way around. Maybe this is this person feeling uh, this way about you. But I feel like that Ten of Swords is just this overall sense of defeat. Um, almost like you could wish... Almost like you wish that you could turn these feelings off because maybe it would make things easier. We have the Six of Wands, Three of Swords, and Judgment. So I feel like you're trying to make a judgment call. You know, you're really thinking about this and saying, okay, well, I, I've been feeling like this because of what happened, but I also see the potential in the connection. And I feel like this energy is winning. I feel like you genuinely feel like there's something here. Um, I feel like part of you is being pulled in the direction to you know, see this person, to talk to them, to give this a chance. I feel like your judgment, if anything, could be affected by the past situation and you're trying to be, you know, it's like you're aware of that and you're trying to not let that influence your current or present um, actions. Let's clarify the Hermit. <clears throat> and we have the Eight of Wands. So definitely feels like communication is coming in um, after some time of not really talking or maybe, you know, the distance, I feel like that is changing the dynamic between you and this person. I feel like the, the communication is helping. There's a little bit more of this hope um, that things can 
improve. We have the Six of Swords, Queen of Wands, Page of Wands. I feel like both of you have a very similar idea of where you want this to move forward, but some of you could be um, so it feels like one person is still trying to figure out what this could look like and another person is a little bit more sure. So I feel like there is this discrepancy there. And I feel like the Six of Swords just represents this overall desire to move on. But again, it's like there is, you know, this... It's like you're almost there um, in terms of being on the same page. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the... Let's clarify the Hanged Man. Two of Swords. Yeah, there's a little bit of hesitation, uh, maybe on your part, again, because of this fear, this worry, what's going to happen? Is it going to be worth it? Is it going to work out? I feel like you could be tempted to cancel or not show up. We have the Nine of Swords again, Five of Cups, Ace of Wands. I feel like the universe wants to remind you that perspective is such a powerful thing. We can anticipate something, worry about it, and say, you know what, I'm just not going to do it because I don't want to feel uncomfortable. Or we can see it from the perspective of, you know what, even though I'm uncomfortable, even though I'm a little bit afraid, I still want to see what happens. I still want to satisfy my curiosity. And maybe, just maybe, no matter what happens, I will feel more satisfied knowing that I gave it my all than if I were to just run away like maybe I've done in the past. So I feel like this is going to be very opening, an eye-opening experience for you, Pisces. I feel like this is actually going to bring a lot of really good um you know, things to your awareness that can help you kind of move forward. But a lot of you definitely, I feel like there is this, you know, feeling of maybe it's not going to go well, but I think that this is actually going to be better than you think. So would love some updates from you all. But if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.